بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد يا رب في الله قال شيخنا شيخ مقبل بن هادي الله يدعي الله يرحمه في كتابه هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا امام مقبل رحمة الله عليه سيد ونؤمن بشفاعتي وبخروج المعاهدين من النار he said and we believe in the shafa'a or the intercession in intercession and that the muahideen uh, meaning the people of Tawheed the Muslims will be taken out of the hellfire and with regards to that the conditions of intercession uh, are three and first that the permission for intercession comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone number two the person being interceded for must be a Muslim as Allah is only pleased with those who worship him alone the evidence for those two conditions is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he said how many from the angels in the heavens do not possess from intercession anything except after obtaining permission from Allah for whoever he wishes and is pleased with so that lets us know that uh, the permission for intercession it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah has to be pleased with that person and the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with uh, has to be from Ahl Tawheed, the Mu'mineen and so Imam Muqbil rahmatullahi of course uh, believed in the Shafa'a, this intercession as is the Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and intercession meaning refers to seeking uh, assistance or help with something by through something else by something else as a means and this shafa'a that we seek from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while we're living there's there's various there's various types of shafa'a so we'll mention some of the types of the aqsam and shafa'a the first shafa'a fi dunya bi dua wa salat wa nahwi. So the first type of shafa'a or intercession is shafa'a that we have in this life. And that comes by supplicating to Allah, making dua, making salat, uh, doing acts of ibadah. Talib al ilm is a type of, uh, you know, it's a means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're, if you're using it as a form of ibadah. Then this is a type of intercession that you are seeking, if you're seeking the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're seeking the pleasure of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with regards to this, uh, in the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said, Sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, wa'adani rabbi an yudkhala, an yudkhala al-jannata min ummati sabi'een alfin la hisab alayhim, wa la adab ma'a. The Prophet ﷺ said, as was reported by Abu Huraira, who said, My Lord has promised me that from my nation, 70,000 will enter paradise without a, uh, without a punishment and without a reckoning. And with each one of them, will be 70,000. So this is proof that uh, that uh, about it, it, it related to the shafa in the, the, the dunya and that there will be those who will have no reckoning meaning that they will not be account, held accountable for what they did in this life because they were, you know, they died upon Tawheed and righteous and they yuhakaka Tawheed perfectly in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will not be punished and may Allah bless us to be from amongst them, ameen, ya rabbil alameen the second type of shifa is the shifa khas bi rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi dua uh, then the second type is the shifa or intercession which is specifically for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from his dua, like in the case of his uncle, Ammuhu Abi Talib, who uh, died as a disbeliever, but the Prophet Sallallahu supplicated on his behalf that he would have uh, uh, 
a lighter punishment. Even though he died on Kofar and Shirk and he will be in the Hellfire forever, but he will have one of the lighter punishments of the people of the Hellfire. So this was also during the lifetime of the Prophet So this we have to understand that, that we don't supplicate to the Prophet now. We don't say, Ya Rasulullah, help us. Ya Rasulullah, uh, you know, give us, inter intercede for us. Ya Rasulullah, I want to have a baby. No, we don't do these things uh, worshiping the Prophet because the Prophet himself said, I do Ahu Ibadah, that supplication. Is, is ibadah, that is worship. So if you try to make shafat with the Prophet Sallallahu now, after he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died, then this will actually be a type of shirk. And so we have to be very cautious and avoid shirk in all of its manifestations. And, uh, a third type of shafat is a shafat, shafat al-Avma. This is a major shafat, the major intercession where the Prophet ﷺ will intercede uh, on behalf of the, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation for their differences and rights that they had over one another. He will intercede on their behalf with their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for people to gain their rights that were taken from them and their, the oppression that they, they received. And the last type of shafa here is shafa al ishab al kabair bi khuruj min al This is the fourth type of shafa, and this is for the people who have done the major sins from amongst the mu'min, from from amongst the believers, and they died upon that, and they tasted some of the hellfire for this. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ will intercede on their behalf in the day of judgment for them to be taken out of the hellfire. So the hellfire will be a type of purification for those believers who died upon the major sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and protect us from tasting the fire. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the amal nafir of al-Mutaqabbin. And thus ends that aspect of the treaties. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.